I'm only doing this to show you the impact in what we do and how we can change haircuts in minutes. Hey, yeah, just pick up my bobbles from the uh, the last haircut. What we're going to do now is going to do turn this. I was going to do a pixie cut. Pixie cut's going to be the next one now. I'm going to do a wolf cut bob with baby bangs because I'm loving these baby bangs. I love how heavy they look, but takes away that sort of contrast that the wolf cut normally does. What we're going to do is we're going to do our trusty sectioning pattern, which will all come up here and we'll, we'll shatter all of that. So we're going to get this beautiful wolf cut textured bob that is going to be massive for 2024, allegedly. Right. So it's going to have a side parting because I'm loving side partings for this season. That goes over here. And we've already got the fringe in. Actually, that just, there we go. That will fall in there. So section pattern, high point of the head. We find it. We section down. And it comes to where? Just behind the ear. Yes. Just behind the ear. Who said that? You. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult because we haven't got a lot of length to play with to grab the hair but you can see this is going to that is going to stay there so we're going to have a really nice bob and i'll talk you through what we'll do in the salon as well to achieve this hey Bob. so we want to pull as far forward as we can over the baby bangs micro finge when i say baby bangs it reminds me of um what's his name him that's who right I want me baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. I want me baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. Jelly, baby back, ribs. So it's come straight across, but that is purely because of that bob. That hair just won't reach. So we're left with that. And now we want some layering through the back. And again, we are just going to see how much actually reaches the top there you go that's all falling out so whatever comes into this ponytail is what's going to be the layering and now i'm going to break down what you would do if you wanted to layer like this in le salon that's the salon in french right so what we would do we'd section like this high point in the head behind the ear behind the ear and we would basically we, we could section whatever reaches up, like so, but you would be going down probably in sections like this and bringing it all up to the middle. And these sides here, they reach up into here, into here. So there's loads of over direction and elevation to create this. But this is pretty much a standard section pattern to create these sorts of look. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take off so you see this length here that length there is the shortest that's the shortest layer from here but that's the longest bit you can see yeah that bit that's the longest bit from here that reaches or the shortest bit from there that reaches whatever way that's what's going to be my guide so this is going to put a lot of texture into this hair so i can see it just there that there I'm pulling forward, nearly cut it then, so you couldn't see. There you go. And we're going to go in, point cutting all of that section away. 45 degrees. Now I'm going to really deep point cut it, just to add loads and loads and loads of softness into this haircut. But I think Bob's going to be big for 2024. And a way to add a lot of texture and and... A, and a hybrid from the biggest hair trend last year and the year before the wolf cut is to add it to a bob so why not now i'm going to look for those see those bits just there that are popping up that's going to be my guide and in salon i i often use the length as a guide so when i pull up pull hair up to, to layer or to graduate or anything like that i often pull up and i see where my length is and i use that as a guide so this is no different to what I would fundamentally do in the salon. 
but as you know, I would never do a ponytail. I'm only doing this to show you the impact in what we do and how we can change haircuts in minutes doing so. So let's pull that out. Look at this. Wow. Let's pull this one out. Let's give it a little shake. Here we go. Look at it. The wolf cut bob. Bet you didn't think you'd see the day, did you? I'm just going to have a little bit of a movement like this and see what happens with that fringe. But look, we've kept that jaw length, strong jaw length bob. But we've just got lots and lots of texture all through here. Just a bit of a rock and roll bob, really, isn't it? But I love these pieces. So these pieces, which are just falling over the the, the baby bangs um, or the, the micro fringe. I just love it. I, just, I love texture and I'm glad it's all coming back and staying back. When I first qualified as a hairdresser, Tony and Guy were massive and they were shattering haircuts all over the place. And I loved it. That's what really got me sort of like my gears going when it was uh, when I got first got into the industry. I loved seeing these sorts of things where it was like a strong silhouette and loads and loads of texture throughout. And when you've seen Tony and Guy do it, they'd be picking up pieces and, and sort of like slicing the hell out of it to create loads of internal texture and everything. So no different. But let's get a little bit of spray, shall we? Joyco's Beat Shake. There you go. Ready to go to the shops. That is the Wolf Cut Bob with Baby Bangs, Micro Fringe. Really easy. And it's just a fundamental, as we always do. But look at it. I never show the backs of haircuts. And I I, I, I realise why now. Because when I'm in the salon, I've always got a mirror. I'm like, what do you think? Like it? And in here, I just never, I never think because I'm always behind, like people showing behind. So I will try and remember. But yeah, there we go. That is the wolf cut bob cut. Two ponytails. And that fringe was already there. But there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's made sense of how to add texture and everything. You could wear this really smooth. You could wear this really smooth. But I just thought I'd show you something quick before I get into a, a pixie cut. So that is the Wolf Cut Bob. If you've enjoyed it, if you are new, subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below, let me know, hit the join button, join the community. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.